And our final speaker for the first panel is uh, Brad Schmidt, and he's with Underwriters Laboratories. Thank you. Thank you, Bradley, for that introduction. It's uh, a great pleasure to be here to talk about standards with uh, my colleagues here at Case Western and on the panel. Uh, who, uh, who all has heard of Underwriters Laboratories? Raise your hand. All right, good. Quite a few of you have. circuit breakers to cybersecurity, and from smoke alarms to solar panels. UL's standards is part of Underwriters Laboratories, Inc. It's a uh, not-for-profit entity, and our focus is public safety. We've been doing this work uh, for well over 110 years. We started back in uh, about 1903. Now, this picture here is uh, from the Columbia Exposition in Chicago, and, and particularly the, the Hall of Lights, it was called. Now, back in 1890, electricity was a big thing. It's like an iPhone 8 or 9. <laughs> the only difference is electricity catches stuff on fire if you're not careful with it. And, and that's what happened. A lot of things caught on fire, or wires melted, fuses would blow but they'd only blow once or twice because then somebody would stick a piece of copper pipe in the fuse holder and everything was fine. <laughs> so, uh, so the insurance uh, folks that looked at this and said, hey, we, we need to uh, have somebody say this stuff is safe before we're going to insure it. And boom, Underwriters Laboratories was born. We've been doing that ever since. We've published almost 1,500 standards or uh, other documents that uh, deal with public, uh, product safety. Now, what are the drivers of standards? Obviously, the needs of society. Like I said, people don't like it when their house catches on fire. So we have to, to, have to protect the public from fire, shock, casualty hazards, and, and more recently, cyber attack. These new and innovative technologies they have to be studied, researched, and proper safety requirements put in place. And in fact, uh, as I mentioned, science and research, that's a good way to develop standards because the more you know about a product, the more you understand it, and, you know, and the more you understand the hazards. How are standards created? Well, at UL, we have a standards technical panel, and it consists of experts from, uh, from industry, uh, consumers, academia, users of the product, inspection authorities like the, the local electrical inspector. They're on many of our, our standards technical panels. And anyone else who's interested, anyone can be a member of the panel. And we gather this, this group of experts together and, and create and publish these standards for safety. The future of standards from UL's perspective, it's renewable energies. Uh, solar, wind, batteries, especially there's some huge lithium ion batteries in cars these days, so there's some safety concerns there. Wearable technologies like body cameras, 3D printing, we heard a lot about that today on our tour. Drones, it's just a matter of time before everybody has a drone in their backyard or in their driveway, so we better start thinking about that. Interoperability, functional safety, and cybersecurity. Those are, those are fancy words. What that means is smart devices that control equipment. And we heard about that today, uh, controlling an Instron machine from your smartphone. Very interesting. What we want to ensure is that that machine hears your command, it understands it, and reacts safely, and it can't be hacked. UL also feels that the future of standards is in science and research. That's going to drive the standards development process. And that research is going to be done by UL, uh, academia, and manufacturers. So this is a very exciting time, I think, to be in the standards uh, area. And the timing of this uh, standards workshop could not have come at a better time. So thank you for your time today.